Hi, I'm Mike Lansman and welcome to another video tutorial. This Photoshop tutorial will deal with the improved color lookup tables that are now available in Photoshop Creative Cloud 2014. The color lookup adjustment layer was introduced in Photoshop CS6 and it allowed you to apply different color profiles or different color looks to your images and those could be matched to other images or to videos. It wasn't used much, however, as it wasn't that user-friendly. These color lookup tables had to be created in alternate program such as Adobe SpeedGrade. This is where things just got a whole bunch better in the latest version of Photoshop. We're able to create our own custom color lookup table. With our own image now open in Photoshop, we will now go and apply a color look to this. We do this via an adjustment layer. So we add an adjustment layer. We will choose Posterize, for example. And we're now able to adjust the degree of posterization that we would require. I've gone for, for this image, I've gone and selected a posterized value of 4. And we will add another adjustment layer. We'll do a hue saturation adjustment layer and adjust the overall hue to maybe an orangey red color. The color lookup table has now been generated. It now needs to be saved. We do this from the file menu and we head on over to export color lookup tables. This is the name of the file. We now want to stipulate the format. Generally the 3DL format is the one that we will use and we simply click OK. We will now be prompted for a location to save the file. It's a good idea to have one file on your hard drive, call it for example color lookup tables so that you know all your color lookup tables can be stored in that folder. Let's give it a descriptive name. For example, we can call it Posterize. So we know that this lookup table is got to do with a posterized effect and we save. We're now able to go and apply this to another image. I happen to have another image here. What we will do to load it is we will add another, we'll create a new adjustment layer and we'll create the color lookup adjustment layer. Simply clicking on this 3D LUT file text opens up the option to load your color lookup table. We select it and we say open. And there that effect has been added. We're also able to add preset color lookup tables. If we pull down this list here, we see that there are different looks to the options that Adobe have given us. So this is a very handy way of applying a really cool color preset to various images. And by the way, these can be added in the same way in your video program, such as Adobe Premiere. Thank you for watching. I hope you found it really useful and I hope you're going to use it. Bye-bye.